Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. In this episode, we discuss about Sentinel value and why Sentinel value is very important. So let's consider this example and this program. This problem is asking us to develop a class averaging problem that will process an arbitrary number of grades each time the program is run. So in this example, the user can enter any number of grades because it says an arbitrary number of grades. So how does the program stop entering grades? How will it determine and print the class average? Well, for this question, the answer is a sentinel value. A sentinel value is one way to show end of data entry. So a sentinel value is also called a signal value, a dummy value or a flag value. The user types in grades until all of the correct ones are in. Then the user types the sentinel value to show that the last grade has been entered. Sentinel controlled iterations are sometimes called infinite iterations as well because the number of iterations is not known before the loop starts running. An important point to remember is that you should pick a sentinel value that can't be mistaken for a valid input value. Since quiz scores cannot be negative, we can select minus one as a good sentinel value for this problem. So when the class average program is run, it might get numbers like 95, 96, 75, 74, 89, and then minus one. The problem would then figure out the class average for grades like 95, 96, 75, 74, and 89, and then prints them out. The sentinel value of minus one will not be included and used in the calculation to find the average, and it will only be used to flag the end of data entry. And that's basically what a sentinel value is. Stay tuned as we go into more details in the coming episodes and we will create a C programs using sentinel values and specifically we will create the example that we were given in this episode. Stay tuned! <laughs>